The Socceroos have a new national coach today. Tony Popovich named as the replacement for Graham Arnold, whose resignation was announced on Friday afternoon. So within about 48 hours, Football Australia had uh, got the signature of Tony Popovich on the dotted line. A little bit about Tony Popovich. We know he was a player of note, Socceroo number 407, who was capped 58 times for the national team. But now he moves into the position as head coach. After his playing career, he went on to become a coach of some note in the domestic leagues, in the A-League, of course, taking Western Sydney Wanderers to the title in their inaugural season and to the AFC Champions League title in 2014. In that same year, Popovich was named Asian Coach of the Year. He's had other success with other teams in the intervening years. Now, the press conference today, I did ask Tony whether he was feeling nervous about the role, not in a bad way, but nerves can be quite beneficial, and whether those nerves were any different to the nerves of pulling on a jersey as a national team player to now fronting up as the head coach. I also asked him what he thought he could do differently that Graham Arnold had not done in order to try and get the Socceroos out of that bottom range in the group they're in in qualification for the next FIFA Men's World Cup. I also put a question to the CEO of Football Australia, James Johnson, just asking to clarify whether the discussion with Tony Popovich about him potentially becoming the next Socceroo coach um, happened with him before Graham Arnold had had the conversation announcing his resignation. Thank you, Tracy. Um, nerves, yes. Uh, butterflies of, of excitement. Um, I think that's probably the best way to sum it up. And, you know, I hope, I hope and expect to have these butterflies and nerves um, before the first match against China. Uh, that's always a positive for me when I feel that. And um, how I can't anticipate how I will feel uh, as a coach standing on the sideline before my first match. Uh, it's different as a player, um, but I anticipate it'll be, it'll be one with a lot of pride and um, hopefully I can get all those sentiments in my mind out of the way and, and when that whistle blows, I know I'll be fully focused on the game. So um, very, very excited and, and I agree, I do uh, feel those nerves. Um, and I love that feeling and I love the, the fact of the responsibility that I have um, that I've been trusted this way and, um, you know, I, I think exciting times ahead. So uh, very positive. Tracy, just to answer the, 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 the second question, um, look, we're in the round three qualifiers um, and, you know, you've got to be prepared for any scenario. Um, I feel that we were prefer prepared uh, as an organisation. Um, coming off the back of our last window, um, after the conversation that we had with Graham uh, that ultimately um, saw his departure. Uh, we knew who was available and we knew who wasn't. Um, we came up with a short list. We spoke with several candidates. Um, but as we did that, it became very clear um, who fit the description of what we wanted. Um, and then we directly uh, went after Tony. Um, we got into some uh, healthy conversations directly. We felt good about the appointment. Um, Tony uh, was, was convincing that he was the right person for the job at the right time. And that's how we got to where we are today. Let's go back to Tony Popovich now so he can answer that second question I put to him about what he thought he could do differently and in achieving results that Graham Arnold could not. Apologies, I, I, didn't, I didn't answer that. Um, uh, different to lift the team. It's a uh, yeah, di difficult question, I think. Um, the first two games, obviously, the performances um, probably were not what everyone wanted. Um, I'm sure the players will take responsibility for that as well. I don't think it'll take too much to um, change the way we play uh, against China, but um, it's not so much what we do different. I think uh, what, we, what we will do is uh, make sure that what we do, we do it very well. Um, we do it with the energy, we do it with the desire, um, and we do it with, I believe, a, a speed and dynamic type of play that um, I think the players will enjoy, and I think we'll see this, the start of that progress against China, and, and as the games go on, I'm sure it'll get better and better. Thank you.